All right, I got my base on here already. But I am going to do a split cup traveling straight pour. And I am going to use these colors right here. that are left over from my previous paintings. Uh, let me get a couple sticks. Make sure everything stood up good. some Amsterdam's graphite and I am actually going to put some of that in the bottom of my first cup Whatever I put in uh, first is what's going to come out last. Uh, this is some Arteza's Pearl Golden Hour. And you have seen it in that last uh, traveling. No. The Desert Canyon is the one that it was in. Okay. So I'm going to put some of this Arteza's Pearl Golden Hour on top of this graphite. And... This is Soho's uh, raw umber with Master's Touch white. And I'm actually going to put it in the bottom of the second chamber. And on top of this golden hour. Got some deep green and I don't have very much of it, so I've got to put it in here strategically for it to show up right. So I think I'm going to put it on top of this uh, burnt umber raw umber in the first chamber and then I'm going to also put it in the last chamber in the bottom by itself and then I have some pyrrole red and I'm going to put some of this little fella on top of this second chamber's raw umber. going 
going to go ahead and open up this yellow pill Arteza and I'm going to put it I'll put it on top of the red in the middle chamber. And then I think I'm going to put some umber on top of that yellow. to the red. Alright, and then um, this last chamber, I think I'm going to put some of this uh, graphite on top of this deep green. And I'm going to do that over here, too, on top of this deep green. Okay. And I also am going to put some in this middle chamber on top of this red. on top of this green and graphite I'm going to uh, do some of this golden hour and some yellow more of this golden hour It's the end of my little golden hour. And then I think I'm going to put some burnt umber on top of that raw umber. Alright. And then I think I'm going to top this graphite off with some red. off my red and go 
around and so finish off this red, I'm going to top that with some burnt umber. I'm going to make it so that they're all coming out with some burnt umber to start with. Raw umber. I keep saying burnt. I'm sorry. It's raw with some white in it. All right. So on top of this graphite, we're going to go with yellow. top of this graphite I'm going to put the rest of my deep green and I don't know how it's going to come out I don't I don't I am definitely mixing colors together that I would normally not mix together And then my deep green layer. And then, oh, and then the rest of my raw umber on top of this last chamber. Hopefully that is not the biggest mistake ever is that I am topping them all off with this raw umber. But we are going to find out. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and pour this baby. Hopefully, it does not come out Christmassy looking. <laughs> Alright, this was just to get rid of paint and maybe produce a interesting painting. Right. Well, it is interesting. Indeed, it is. <laughs> it 
it's not Christmassy looking, but it's not attractive, <laughs> in, in my opinion. Somebody might like those colors. Oh, I like that golden hours popping up there. Just really ugly colors. Spread it out some. I didn't know how I was going to like that yellow and green together, but they didn't do bad. Really, it's the burnt umber that I don't like in there. Raw umber. I have raw umber in Sienna are hard to work with in my opinion. They're not the most attractive colors and they can be rather difficult to work with. Sometimes I just have to throw them in there to find out if they'll make a nice combination or not because sometimes I throw them with some colors and it actually makes a really pretty painting. I like the uh, Mars orange with it and uh, Persian blue and cobalt blue and some gold in there. Now those colors together look good. <clears throat> All right guys, Let's see a couple more bubbles popped up. Well, it is an interesting one for sure. And I think I'm going to just leave it like this. And see how it dries. Who knows? You just can't never tell. Sometimes they dry because it's going to dry darker. And there is red in there. It might look okay with it. We'll see. There's that bubble. Well, I think there you have it. I think I'm going to leave it like that.
All right, I'm going to see if I can't get you in for a close up. And then I'm going to get it off this spinner so it will quit moving the paint. There you have it. Interesting, yet something to like about it. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment on this painting to be entered into the free giveaway for any painting I've ever created. I am paying for the shipping. All you have to do is participate. Thanks. Have a great day. All of the rules for the giveaway will be in the description if you have not already seen what the rules are. You can pick any painting off of any of the videos I have ever posted on YouTube. And I also have an Etsy account that you can pick any of those paintings as well. Anything I've ever done.